Hydraulic power is used to operate a number of crucial aircraft systems, such as the flight controls. The hydraulic system consists of three separate systems, blue, green and yellow. Each system is supplied by its own hydraulic reservoir at a pressure of approximately 3,000 psi. Generation and distribution will be covered in more detail in the following lessons. In the event of low pressure, the hydraulic system will automatically adjust to give priority to the main flight controls and brakes. Fluid interchange between systems is impossible, but there are a number of inbuilt redundancy features which allow a failed system to be recovered. We'll look at these next. Each hydraulic system is normally pressurized by engine-driven hydraulic pumps. There's one pump in the blue and one pump in the yellow system. But the green system, which supplies the most users, has two pumps. The green hydraulic system can also be pressurized by two electric pumps if there is any failure to one of the green engine pumps. Two non-reversible power transfer units, PTU, are installed to transfer power from the green system to the blue or yellow system. Select the PTU in the graphic to transfer power to the blue system. The blue system has now been recovered. The blue system has now been recovered. In an emergency, a ram air turbine, RAT, extends into the airstream. The wind-driven propeller drives a hydraulic pump, which pressurizes the yellow hydraulic system. Select the RAT to pressurize the yellow system. The yellow system has now been recovered. Finally, an electric pump in the yellow system pressurizes the brake accumulators and the cargo doors. When the electric pump is not available, a hand pump pressurizes the yellow hydraulic system to operate the cargo doors only. Hydraulic systems can be monitored by means of the hydraulic control panel on the overhead panel, accumulator pressure indicator on the center instrument panel, and the ECAM hydraulic page.